electricity that gets delivered to a customer's home, that's not stored anywhere. As you're using electricity, it has to be generated. You know, when you turn the lights on, a generator has to increase load to, to let that light work properly. The site near Astoria was chosen for a very specific reason. And uh, really, uh, when we start to look at possible generation sites, we look at the needs that we have, natural gas and transmission, and sometimes water, you know, where they are. And so we looked at, you know, where are these major natural gas lines crossing some of the major transmission sites? We were driving around taking a look at these areas and found a piece of land down by Astoria that was for sale. It happened to be right at the intersection of one of these key sites. And really it was that uh, investigation, we were on a trip, you know, going somewhere else and finding this site that began the discussion of, is Astoria a good site for one of these natural gas peaking plants? And it really became a natural area for selection. It was a tremendous site and working with the, the local representatives, the community, the South Dakota Public Utilities Commission, everybody there has just been tremendous. And it, it, you know, we're very happy for the choice of the Astoria site. When we replaced Hoot Lake, right, we talked about it being 140 megawatts out of our 800 megawatt peak. I mean, it's pretty important, but we didn't replace it with just Astoria or just Maricourt, but we replaced it with that combination of those two facilities. Maricourt wind project gives us a lot of kilowatt hours really cheap, but you can't always count on the wind blowing at a peak time when you need it. MISO, who runs our transmission system, needs to keep that perfectly balanced so that every kilowatt hour coming in, there's one going out at the same time. Well, if you have your production going up and down, how do you balance that? Well, how they can do that is with a facility like Astoria. You're bringing on 250 megawatts, and at the push of a button, the quick hitter rescue. So quick reacting. And there's value in that to our customers and to Ottertail. When you need electricity, when you need that energy on a short-term basis, Astoria will be there for it. So I would characterize Astoria's output as 245 megawatts. We have the northern border pipeline that's on our property. We pull the gas off of that. We reduce the pressure. We ensure that the temperature is correct to go into the combustion turbine. Within there, it combusts through the turbine. We have an exhaust stack for the emissions and exhaust gas. The turbine turns the generator and then that stepped up to the proper voltages to go out on the transmission line and from there it's, it's out on the grid. The technology itself is very reliable. Combustion turbines have been used in a lot of applications. But our new approach of bringing on such a large unit in 10 minutes is probably one of the first times this has been done in the country. And, and there's support needed throughout the entire company to execute a project like this. And the individuals that we interface at a day-to-day -day basis, either if they're full-time supporting the project or needing to support the project part-time, you know, in a certain area, the, the ownership and the dedication of those individuals to be on board for the successful execution of a project. It's just a, it's a theme that happens all the time, always. To retire our coal plant here at Hoot Lake as we're adding wind generation in North Dakota, having a dispatchable resource that can still be put online when the wind isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining is key to maintaining that reliable energy that our customers have come to depend on Autotail Power Company for.